Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I'm here with my niece, Aurora. Um, she did her first acrylic pour yesterday, but without any instruction. So I'm going to give her basically an acrylic pour lesson today. We're gonna do a turkey pour. We are using the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paint, which is awesome, because you can just go ahead and pour it right in. So what you're gonna start off doing is fill up your bowl um, almost all the way. And on each color, you wanna just add a little bit at a time. Okay. Use any colors that you want and just pour slowly. There you go, now go on to the next color. And I am using, there's a little leftover paint in my bowl, same kind of paint. So I'm just, you know, using that as well. Oh, that came out fast. Yep. <laughs> so you got to pour slow. And it looks like you're going mostly orange or yellow, uh, warm colors, which yes. is good. I love this blue and orange together. So I'm definitely putting some of that in there. Probably my favorite color yeah. combo. <laughs> A little bit of black. And on the black, if you do use black, go really light. A little bit goes a long way. And you said you wanted some of the regular white too, right? That's that one. This is the metallic white. And I think I'll end off mine with just a dash of yellow. So fill it up to about this. See how full mine is? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Maybe just a tiny bit more. Pick one other color and then you should be good. Just a little bit. A little bit of black? Okay, good. I like the black because it adds contrast. Do you know what that is? Yeah. No. Contrast is like colors compared to each other. So like white and black would have a lot of contrast but white and maybe like a really light yellow wouldn't have a lot of contrast, okay. you know what I mean? Okay, so that should be good. So now you're gonna hold on to your bowl and it is wobbly, so be careful. Put your hand down, put it up just a little bit, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and pour right over your hand. I like to go back and forth like this, get all my fingers, and feels really weird, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, look at that, look at that right there. So cool. <laughs> As always, I got a lot of blue in mine. All right, hand me your bowl, okay. Then just go ahead and slowly lift up. You do still have paint on your glove, so keep that in mind. Okay. And then I'm going to just Carefully tilt to cover the canvas. Don't go too much in one direction at a time. You don't want to run too much paint off. Go this way and back this way. I love your colors, really bright. Thank you. I could tell you're a warm color kind of person. I'm a cool color kind of person. <laughs> like the blues. Looking good, looking good. So at this point, you can go ahead and just start running it off the corners a little bit. There you go. <laughs> really like that. Much better than your one yesterday, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> More exciting. The one yesterday wasn't bad, just not as exciting. Uh-huh. Okay, good. 
So Good. then I would just carefully take your finger and just touch up the corners. Like you just want to get paint on those. Just carefully. Any spots that you miss, I'll help you over here. Check that corner. And see if you miss any spots on the sides or anything. Good. All right, and carefully peel off your gloves. Don't hang it over your painting because otherwise you can get drips on your painting. Yep. See? <laughs> that could have gone on your painting. Oh, no. Awesome. What do you think? I like it. Yeah? And how do you like the turkey pour? Fun, right? Yeah. Fun technique? Cool. All right, I'm going to let these sit here for just a minute, and then I'll bring everybody in for a close-up. All right, we're back. This paint doesn't really change much on its own. Um, so these will dry like this. It dries very glossy. You can definitely tell that I like cool colors and she tends to gravitate towards the warmer colors. Let's go ahead and do our close up. So we'll go ahead and start with mine. What I love about this technique is the lines and patterns that you get. So obviously you cannot see my handprint in there, but you can still kind of get the idea of those lines. Hers, she uh, twisted and tilted, I think, a bit more. That's some really cool colors in here. We didn't put any green in here, but obviously yellow and blue. Beautiful orange. Kind of surprised I don't think she put any red in here. But really, really love how this came out and I love the depth of this paint all right guys thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed this please don't forget to check the description for all the materials this is just artist loft ready mix pouring paint which you get at Michaels artist loft is a Michaels brand and I'll see y'all next time